Namaste. Uh, welcome to tutorial series on Super Pro Designer for Beginners Step by Step Guide to Process Simulation. In the previous tutorial, we understood how to set up inoculum development uh, uh, procedure as well as fermenter in Super Pro Designer. When you see the original uh, uh, like uh, file of streptomycin production process, it is not a batch process. Basically, it's a fed batch process. You can see here. Uh, initially the media is added again fed batch media is added even when you go to this particular operation and you select this uh, ferment operation in the main file you can notice this fed batch is activated fed batch is activated means continuously the feed is entering to the system in this video or uh, in an extended version of the previous problem we initiated everything in the previous uh, uh, video so in this video i will add the fed batch uh, media to this particular fermenter and also i'll initiate the fed batch process now i need to connect one more string that is the fed batch stream i will connect here and i will rename this as fed batch fed batch media fed batch media so i will initiate this fed batch media in later stages so for basically in fed batch process also we need to feed the fermenter initially with some quantity like we need to charge media and slowly uh, other media uh, will be slowly added uh, throughout the process so let us see how to initiate this one we go back to rest all we, uh, remain same we go to this ferment operation we go to this ferment operation here there is a tab called as fed batch so we'll click this fed batch now as of now it is deactivated so i'll just initiate this so let us consider this as a fed batch and also how do we transfer this fed batch media at what rate we transfer this fed batch media how long we transfer this fed batch media so I'll just, okay, you have a three option that is amount and reaction time. For example, you need to transfer something around 10,000 kg of fed batch media. Just you will select here like 10,000 kg of fed batch media and reaction time we know the process time is for six days. Reaction is carried out for six days. Accordingly, this particular uh, mass flow rate you set it. For example, I set it as a year, you, it is chosen here, flow rate and reaction time. If you select amount and reaction time, it is get activated now. So I will say around 1000 kg of media for six days accordingly the flow rate will be set or else you can set the flow rate for example i need to transfer 2 kg per hour of media continuously for six days then accordingly the media uh come you can you can even set here uh, like you can uh, the software will automatically calculate how much amount of uh, uh, media is required so here uh, first we need to select the media that is stream the fed batch stream this is the fed batch stream and we are not initiated here so that is the reason we need to add the uh, fed batch media again fed batch media composition is same as fermentation media we already registered as stock mixture i'll select the fermentation media and we can notice as it is selected here flow rate and reaction time so just we can set the flow rate and reaction time is for six days but based upon this uh, like uh, values software will automatically calculate what is the quantity of fed batch media required and it will draw from that particular stream so that is the reason it is auto adjusted auto adjusted so you don't have, you don't need to set the rate of uh, this uh, particular uh, media media flow so once we initiate this particular fed batch that is what basically 2 kg per hour we initiated this fed batch one click ok and uh, let us run this simulation and we can notice material and energy balance ended successfully and if you could go back here fed batch stream i can notice almost 288 kg of fed batch media is consumed for six days consumed for six days and also you can notice uh, fermentation broth uh, like uh, earlier if you could able to see in the previous video uh, we got almost 7.5 kg of uh, uh, streptomycin but in this it is increased because when media is increased so obviously the streptomycin quantity is also increased it is around something 19.14 kg so in the uh, like if you want to know how much reactor is required because because by default design mode is selected you required almost 583 liter of uh, fermenter is required to carry out the operation uh, yes uh, this is how if your process is fed batch you can add the streams and initiate it and as I told, if you want to initiate, uh, if you want to clean this particular process uh, before uh, start of the fermentation and also clean uh, after the fermentation, you can add the streams, like you can add the operation of cleaning operation, go to add and remove operation. For example, first I will 
sterilize it using a steam so i will add this i will add this and also once the sterilization is done i need to clean it i need to clean it and also post fermentation also i need a sterilization operation so but this sequence is not correct first i need to do the steam in place then clean in place for fermentation operation takes place then i need to again steam in place click ok it is telling it leading to operation in this procedure the start time because we have scheduled it uh, in uh, like uh, later stages so these things will change because now steam in place is the first operation steam in place is the first operation those things will change we will uh, uh, re uh, uh, reorder them later click yes and let us go to this steam in place let us go to this steam in place and we set it so steam in place the inlay temperature is 152 degree and exit temperature the steam which is entering exiting it is 25 degree centigrade so let us go with all default values i will steam it for around 10 minutes 10 minutes and flow rate all these things we just go with default and you can notice here the steam component is pure water uh, it is by default it is selected if you are uh, steaming with any other component for example sometimes we use the uh, wfi water so if you are using that you can uh, select here but just we go with this and also clean in place clean in place basically what happened cleaning steps in a fermentation process uh, maybe we first clean it with water then we clean it with maybe 0.1 normal or 1 normal NUOH and again we need to rinse it with water and again we clean it with uh, acid for example I am cleaning with 0.1 uh, uh, normal or 0.1 uh, normal H2SO4 once you, uh, once you clean it with uh, acid again we are rinsing it with water so there is a series of steps happens in the cleaning procedure you can add it here for example there is an option here so rename this particular steam and also have an option to insert this is the already one cleaning step is available maybe uh, this step i i can use water to clean it and you can add one more step uh, to add clean with uh, uh, caustic soda or one normal naoh and again add one more step like that you can add the series of steps here for when you add each step we need to define in each particular step what is the flow rate of that and how long you are going to do it in this case i can go with template some templates are also available link to template link to template and here you can notice there are some cleaning procedures available i'll just select centrifugation cleaning centrifugation cleaning click ok so once you select this one you can notice the five steps that is predefined in the uh, in the software five steps are available pre rinse pre rinse is taking place with wfi water and also you can notice the flow rate is set here 10 minutes and caustic is available uh, basically the caustic stock mixture is available uh, it is as it is predefined uh, it's already registered these components are registered in the software and the post rinse acid wash final wash so all these steps are uh, there so i'll just use it the default uh, like values available here uh, click ok and uh, one more thing we need to initiate is steam in place steam in place so here again uh, all these things are like default values i'll steam it for 10 minutes so click ok and run the simulation so mass balance uh, ended uh, successfully you can notice here uh, just we added the cleaning procedures here uh, again if you go to this uh, gantt charts go to this gantt charts uh, basically definitely there will be a problem because now you see uh, in the previous tutorial we have initiated them and in this case we are not initiated it is starting from time t is equal to zero we just go to this uh, steam in place steam in place we'll schedule this first one uh, scheduling scheduling when the steaming uh, should start so related to previous procedure in the like uh, uh, shake flask reactor once the react operation is completed then you start preparing this particular fermentation system so i'll go to this operation react operation end of this react operation uh, click ok and rest all we no need to bother because in the first operation if you said the remaining operations will go according to the previous operation in the same procedure solve it go back to this uh, gantt charts gantt charts operation gantt charts uh, yes you can notice here uh, inoculum is developed later stages this fermentation operation is initiated and if you want to know uh, the schedule summary you can notice here uh, this uh, fermentation is taking place for almost 194 hours the complete process so according to this time we can have almost 54 batches of this streptomycin production uh, per year so i hope uh, you understood 
how to initiate this fed batch operation in the fermenter and also adding some cleaning step uh, uh, before and after fermentation process thank you for watching please do not forget to subscribe